So the first thing I did was mixed my powder pigments with epoxy resin as usual, just mix that around, use the heat gun to pop bubbles, and then poured that into my mold. I think I did six different styles I'm offering on my store now. So for this one, I did a solid color, but if you're gonna be doing two colors or clear, pour them in at the same time, because if I were to only pour the purple, for example, it would override the, the letter C and just go along the whole bottom and you wouldn't see the two different colors. So just pour them in at the same time and go very slow. And you'll see me do the same here. I'm just pouring a bit of the blue and then pouring the clear at the same time, just so it does separate. Now I'm adding some silver flakes to this one. That way I can offer this on my shop as your choice of color plus silver flakes and a bit of clear resin. And of course we have to offer one that is just purely flowers, no colors. This is a very customizable project, which I love. I do wish they were reverse molds just because I like the bottom to end up being the front, but that is not the case with these. Obviously with some of the letters, you can flip them around, some you can't. So yeah, 24 hours later, I took those out of the mold and I was already so happy with these results. And if you can see those waves behind me, I'm working on a vision that I have in my head, no idea if it's going to work, of a rose quartz beach. So the rose quartz is going to be like the shoreline, so hopefully that works. Stay tuned for that. I kept liking the bottom better than the top where we poured, which if it was a reverse mold, it would have been the front, but not in this case. So I'm going to show you how I fixed that. But first I made sure to sand all of them. I'm just sanding the edges because there's kind of a little groove where the resin is. So I'm not sanding the whole back of it, just the back edges. I accidentally had a leaf stuck on this letter N, if you can see, so I decided to take some UV resin, look at my hands, they always shake so bad, and mixed the same pigment color in and just covered the top. If I felt like the reverse side kind of looked nicer, I would do this for other letters as well and just kind of cover them so that the front of them ends up being as pigmented as the back. Like I said, that's kind of the reason why I wish they were reverse molds, but it's okay, we have to make do. I'll just lightly use my heat gun and then place the letter under the UV light so that the UV resin can cure. This was a lot of trial and error because this was my first time doing this project, but I made some of the names too small. So when they were too small, I would just scratch them off and make them bigger. I do look at the measurements in the Cricut design program, but they somehow just still don't always turn out. And just another quick tip if you're going to do this color with gold flakes, option or with rose gold flakes whatever it is um try to put the color all the way down where the name is gonna go because i found like the first letter b i chose the name bailey for this one the letter b didn't really show just because it was on the clear resin with gold it'll make sense in a second but i just wanted to point that out After creating the name, choosing the font, and having my Cricut make the cut, I just weed out all of the little pieces. Is there a name for that? Like taking the little pieces out of the B and the A? I don't know. Anyways, then I put it onto my transfer tape and transferred it on. See how you can't really see the letter B that well? Um, that's why I was saying to extend the color all the way down. Another bit of trial and error, the name Sarah was too big, so I had to go and make a smaller font so that it would all fit. That was the first one that didn't work, and this was the one that worked. I'm definitely still getting used to the Cricut, and I do want the proper tools so that transferring it onto the tape is a lot easier. I like showing you guys my trial and error, though, because... I'm not perfect. It takes me so much to get a good tutorial and to figure out exactly what I'm doing. So that name Casey, I also redid. I kind of just made everything too big. And then I'm top coating this with UV resin to seal the name on and make sure it won't scratch off. And then I'm just placing the letter under the UV light and I did about three rounds of the UV light. Each round being about one minute long. For each letter I mean. <laughs> And here are the final products. I absolutely love how these turned out. I wanted to show the different fonts people can choose, different colors, any color, they name it, I'll get it. And if I don't have it, I will just buy a pigment in the color they want. And yeah, I wanted to show gold, rose gold, silver flakes, just flowers, two colors, solid color, and just give people the option to get creative with the names that they would like. I feel like these would also look so nice in a nursery. 
I also love the way that pigments shimmer in the sunlight. I just think it's so pretty and I'm glad that my vision for these came to life. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!